uh, our next speaker will go to our students. Uh, the engineer Amr Sayyid S. Please look, uh, engineer. Uh, he will speak about reclamation, reclamation of saline to reduce water using membrane technology. I have no any information about Amr Sayyid, but Amr Sayyid is one of our students. Salt and then make a selected removal of uh, 
many uh, radioactive materials or highly uh, toxic material. As you can see, the membrane in the processes uh, has a quite large share in the treatment process of the pure water. And I iterate the uh, pre-treatment step or in the uh, program treatment uh, steps. So briefly, well, the first step is a deboiling of uh, the pure water. Uh, this uh, mainly performed by pressure driven processes. As you can see, the main, the main and strong process for the oil in this C, that process, so the deflation process, which can be uh, replaced by some microfiltration and for the hand oil removal can be then further reduced to auto filtration or non filtration membranes. As you can see, uh, the main problem in any different uh, process is the fouling tendency. And uh, in deep water, another challenge uh, presents, which is the uh, wetting tendency, as the oil may wet the uh, membrane and uh, further increase fouling and the degradation of its activity. Uh, as you can see, these are two uh, different observations of the brain, uh, both with completely different behavior, which indicates that the power tendency is highly uh, dependent on the, power of the nature of the membrane and the nature of the beef we created. None of the patient membranes, uh, in addition. However, for surprise, the uh, are both processes. First Moses, which uh, accounts for uh, almost five percent of the global salination component. Five fails in treating produced water. As you can see, most of the research that has uh, discussed treating produced water with the first Moses only consider using a very small amount of salts, as you can see, only 2,000 ppa uh, per million. Which is the hard muscle, for example, with the uh, So, uh, the joint it is uh, very promising technique for uh, water desalination, but it is not the uh, best available solution for produced water treatment. Moving on to the uh, more novel and more recent uh, process, the membrane distillation process. This process uh, differs mainly from the other brain processes is that it depends on the thermal energy of uh, the feed and the wavelength diffusion through the brain. As you can see, it has different configurations, direct contact, which uh, the membranes are in direct contact with the feed and permeate. Of course, there's an air gap between them, or there's a vacuum system to uh, further grow the beer. Uh, uh, but, uh, as per uh, publications, the direct uh, has the largest share, of course, because it's the simplest uh, configuration, and it is, uh, it is much simpler to uh, try uh, new technology from new materials on the processes. So, uh, as you can see, for the air gap installation, there's a uh, point of movement. Uh, the uh, research uses uh, 35 parts thousand parts per million in the first uh, in the first membrane and the U3 uh, 30,000 parts per second membrane. And some researchers they even reached 150,000 parts per million of salts. Uh, the vacuum membrane installation, the technology is uh, submerged. I can do this vision in place uh, submerged in the water solution. As you can see, the fouling tendency in the left is uh, very low. The after 27 hours of creation, the uh, flux is only generated by value of one, but the initial flux, as you can see, is uh, very small. It's only 3.2 uh, liter per minute per uh, hour per square meter. However, for further improvement, the uh, ultrasonic may be used for any other uh, factors that may use turbulence in the media. Uh, the initial flux is uh, enhanced, but as you can see also, 
fouling started to appear. Uh, fouling is uh, directly proportional to the amount uh, that flies the passes through the membrane because it is uh, more material than drawn to the membrane, so it is uh, more likely to be fouled. Uh, as you can see, different materials are available. The conventional membranes, the uh, hydrophobic and the homophobic materials have been used. And of course, the genius membranes, the uh, most recent, most common materials. Uh, finally, uh, for such uh, things, uh, the solution. Uh, in that specialized studies need to be performed. To uh, assess the potential fouling tendency of various fouls present in this field, and of course, the uh, operating efficiency and operating parameters in order to incorporate such technologies in the industry. Uh, any questions on it? <laughs> Thank you, uh, Jiram. Uh, we have one question here. Okay. Uh, thank you, Jiram, for your presentation. It's been interesting. And uh, my question is regarding the two smoother, uh, as you know, that the conventional method uh, is much better because of the uh, flux is higher. So, do you think that this one, this system, can be applied? Because yesterday, uh, Dr. Muhammad has discussed also the reduced work. What about the industrial scale? Can they apply this particular work? Or it's still under investigation right now? Uh, but now it is still in the very, very early stage of uh, research. Uh, the, the, the clinical procedures and the following uh, brain is not well established. So it is not uh, like this. The problem is that not right now. It's a very heavy uh, risk state. What is the main challenge? Uh, the problem, of course, how to operate. What about the fact that it was not going to say that the delay installation uh, is not applied for the industrial cost of the flux? Uh, the flux may be enhanced greatly, but uh, still the following is. Okay. okay. So, 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 so